Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Red Estate. So we've got uh, our characters from the last mission that are uh, still kind of freaking out. They're all getting some stress relief going on, except Mandeville, who uh, didn't have enough space in the brothel. Basically, it's being taken up by the caretaker right now, and uh, that is a little unfortunate. So she'll be down for a couple of weeks due to that, which means that for our next mission, uh, we're going to have to probably use a vein here as our preferred healer. I'm gonna go ahead and pop into the guild and I did make some upgrades here so that we could grab the third level of weird reconstruction which now is 0 to 14 and then do like maybe abyssal artillery for him. I'm thinking Poirier. Go ahead and buff up that Rampart skill, as well as Retribution. And then, Reynald. Reynald has everything. Uh, Smite. And, Bulwark of Faith. Uh, we'll grab those two for him. And finally, Savigny. Also has everything unlocked. Holy Lance. Smite. And I think the Zealous Accusation um, is what I want. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Um, down to just below 4,000. Um, I do also have the ability to upgrade them at the Blacksmith. Ooh. At the Blacksmith. Um, I grabbed the extra level for their weapons. Oh, one kind of interesting thing about the Man-at-Arms that I've only just noticed, but his... Uh, uh, his mace here, like, this was the private's mace, and we're now going to the sergeant's mace, or the, sorry, the sergeant major's mace, which is a heck of a promotion, by the way. Um, whereas the, uh, the plate does not follow the same rank structure. Uh, I've got, like, another man-at-arms down here. See, he starts with a footman's mace and shoddy splint. Did they both go to private and then sergeant major? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have lost my mind. Um, where were we? Back in the blacksmith. There we go. So he's going to go... So I guess he'd have Sergeant Major's plate and mace. Okay. Not too bad. And then... I'd like to upgrade Savigny and Reynald. Uh, but we're running a little bit low on the things. Uh, I'm not going to need that ever. Uh, I should probably be holding on to that. Probably get rid of the other Leper's Amulet since I have another one. Uh, increase accuracy but reduce dodge. Hmm. This is the kind of stuff I normally do in between episodes where I have tons of time to like weigh all of the uh, benefits of any particular thing that I'm getting rid of, but we're just going to do that on the fly that time. Uh, so they're both upgraded. Let's grab our um, two Crusaders and get them up to snuff as well, changing their long swords into questing long swords, which is uh, space speed goes up by one, damage increases, all in all, not bad. Also, we get a new palette swap. Awesome. Okay, uh, that's going to do it for all of our preparation. As far as the mission select itself, I, I'd already kind of decided this runes mission uh, of a cleanse with the commander's orders. I, I like the idea of being able to put commander's orders here on Reynald. So that is going to be the idea. Uh, we'll get him out front. We'll grab Savigny for our second. And then we're going to do a Poye and Vane for our third and fourth. Uh, this is going to be a pretty offensively uh, structured group. Again, I am I like all of the utility characters, you know, the like Houndmasters, Jesters, Grave Robbers, but I'm having so much trouble getting them leveled up. Uh, the, they're the classes that die the most for us, whereas our big kind of beefy guys, they have no trouble making it through to live another day. Uh, we got 5,000 gold. That should be more than enough provisioning. We'll want a full stack for the rest. And then like, a, let's say a stack and a half for the rest of the dungeon. It's the runes, so I think two shovels should be enough. 
And then also it's the runes, so we're going to take a few extra torches because of the uh, uh, the cultists there that reduce our torchlight. Um, that can get kind of annoying. And then I want at least one of everything. And then what's in the runes? Um, something, something like that, maybe, perhaps, I'm thinking. Yeah, that should do it. Go ahead and embark. I do like that the, the level 3 missions, um, obviously, they reward better than the level 1 ones. Uh, but I feel like the equilibrium there has finally really shifted in favor of being able to build up extra gold. Uh, we're having enough now to upgrade our characters in the blacksmith and the guild. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line. Which is good. Uh, we've really only been able to do one round of upgrades previously, and it came from me just like literally selling almost all of my trinkets uh, that I wasn't using anyway, so it didn't really matter. But it was a big influx of gold that immediately got spent. And ever since then, we've more or less just been kind of surviving. You know, that uh, the characters were uh, not really getting the opportunity to upgrade, as most of it was just provisioning. We were turning gold into heirlooms, like uh, we're just sort of laundering that, which is fine. You know, we, we need to upgrade the town. Uh, those heirlooms have afforded us Mechanical the, hazards. the ability to... Get some of the upgrades on like our um, uh, reduced cost on a lot of the upgrades, uh, and so that's going to pay off in the long run. Um, this confession booth thing, I think I'm just going to do it. Ugh, too much sin to bear. Ah, 15 stress. That's like the least bad thing that could have happened because of that. Um, and a scout. That is lovely. Man, that next hallway looks awesome. Okay. Uh, no battles. We need to figure out who is our... No one is our trap disarmer. Okay. Um, so trap disarming... Uh-oh. Trap disarming is largely going to go to whoever has the most HP at the time. Um, so, oh well. But uh, now that we're finally starting to kind of gain ground on... Uh, the gold equilibrium in town, and and this is one of the things. Um, uh, by uh, and I've talked to uh, you know some friends that have played, and and they get really discouraged because they don't feel like they're they're making you know any progress in the game. Uh, this is kind of how progress gets made. You know, even if it doesn't feel like you're doing well, getting those upgrades so that things cost less, they just sort of flow back into your town in the future. Yeah, five's not the greatest, and uh, you know, and that's the the progress that you're making. As long as the town itself is being upgraded, you can stay doing level one missions, you know, for weeks and weeks and weeks until finally you're gonna have. Let's go ahead and pop out the stun. He does have this super awesome uh, trinket here to increase that, and it synergizes really well with Savigny's um, Holy Lance ability. I did not destroyed. Uh, just stumble across that. I did think about that whenever I was building this party. Uh, that was kind of the idea that's going to be going on here. But I am Decimated. definitely digging it. Uh, so yeah, as long as your town's getting upgraded, you know, you're, they're going to feed back into making it easier and easier to upgrade your party going forward. Uh, so you can stay doing level 1 missions with, you know, level 1 and level 0 guys for a long time. And just sort of feel like you're treading water uh, as far as the um, uh, as far as gaining any gold is concerned but ugh, six was not what I was hoping for there um, but eventually just due to the reduced the cost advantage. Jesus man no quarter. due to the reduced cost of, uh, of upgrading people that you're you're investing in eventually you're going to find that your uh, input and output of gold expenditures versus what you're gaining in the uh, in the dungeons themselves is, is going to turn positive. Ugh. Your, your healing could really use uh, a little bit of work there, man. 
Um, I didn't really go over it, but if you uh, you may recall, Savigny is basically a uh, like an undead killing machine. Uh, both of his trinkets are set up to give him uh, buffs in that regard. So that's why, you know, they, they were huge numbers, don't get me wrong. Like, man, 40 damage on a hit is fantastic. Uh, but I'm not super surprised to be getting them. This is basically what the character has been made to do. Uh, is just sort of come into the runes and destroy everything. As the fiend falls, nice. a faint hope blossoms. Uh, and and the, uh, the Rampart ability really synergizes with uh, Holy Lance in a number of ways. Since Holy Lance only hits the back, but Rampart pushes characters back as well. So like you can use that to ensure that uh, Holy Lance is still going to have a target. So it's doing um, you know bonus 35% damage versus Unholy, uh, and then he's getting a plus 15% melee skills as well. So uh, that is where his amazing abilities are coming from in that fight. Wealth beyond measure. Nice. It's totally Warded doable. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. Gonna have a hallway battle coming up here. Now, uh, I was reading something interesting on the subreddit for Darkest Dungeon the other day. The uh, hmm. uh, you know the mention of the way that uh, we built a crusader specifically for taking on the runes, and he's no doubt going to be invaluable while he's here. Uh, however, you know, to beat the game, we're going to have to to go at the darkest dungeon, right? Like, that's going to be the goal. Um, I have no idea what the enemies there would look like. And so, the location-specific... Oh, man, so close. The location-specific... Um, I'm actually not going to Holy Lance with him. Uh, Confidence just because the that's a crumbles. better move in this situation. Not to mention that, devastating blow. that it would have put him in the front rank and gotten him out of position uh, to swap with the man-at-arms. Anyway, the, uh, the location-specific uh, quirks that you can get, and uh, I haven't done much of it yet, but uh, I guess you, you can't turn back time if they get permanently locked. Like, if you pay to lock a good trait, it is always going to be there. And uh, that that might not be the smartest idea when it comes to uh, location-specific traits. Even though you could make this, like, amazing runes guy, well, what good does he do you at all once you, uh, you make it into the Darkest Dungeon? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. And I still have, you know, really no idea what the, the Darkest Dungeon is going to look like. Um, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see whether it's going to just be kind of more of the same, like it's just a hard kind of final level, or if the mechanics are going to shift, uh, like, fundamentally about what you're doing uh, and what your goals are while you're there. Ugh. Okay. Let us... You know... Um... 22. I just talked about getting him out of position. I'm going to use Retribution, uh, I think, with him during this fight. And uh, see how that goes. Oh, man, so close. Getting, like, one away on each of these. Um... Thankfully, though... And use that to finish him. Still get the mark and the repose activated. And they just didn't care. Hey, thanks for resisting that. I do appreciate it. Lovely. Lovely. And if... Uh, hmm. Worth it to heal? Probably worth it to heal. Hmm... I guess we'll just keep the ooh retribution going. Uh, so yeah, like you know, the they could. Oh man, good thing we healed <laughs> on that last turn. Uh, they could decide to do something just you know completely different or uh, changing the atmosphere of the darkest dungeon. Like it might just be boss fights or something like that instead of uh, a full blown dungeon to explore. 
I've heard mention, uh, if anybody has a source for this that is reliable, I would love to read up on it. Some people have uh, consistently made rumors of the idea that characters would enter the darkest dungeon only one time. Like, re you, you wouldn't be able to leave, effectively. Like, you would have to... Uh, like, there would only be the final boss fight or something, and uh, there was no retreating, or there would some be some sort of progress to be making, but that uh, after making it, your characters would, like, retire, and there would be nothing you could do about that. Um, I don't know if those were all just things people have made up, or if there is actually a source. I think I've kept pretty uh, up-to-date on Red Hook's announcements, and I don't remember anything like that, but I'm not infallible, uh, and so if that does exist, I would love to uh, to be pointed towards it. Um, unfortunately, he's out of position to be able to do really anything useful. Um, so let's see if we can't clear one corpse to move these guys up a little bit. I really need a big heal here. Eight's not exactly what I was looking for. It's like 12 HP doesn't really put him off of one hit from death's door. It's always kind of interesting, you know, the, in the grand scheme of things, the difference between like 2 HP and 10 HP uh, is pretty minimal. 14, that's what I needed to see. All right, awesome. Ugh, stop missing with the things. Rampart, crit, stress relief, awesome. Then, he can do this, oh, only four. That was not what I wanted. As the light gains purchase, I'm doing this just for the, the stress lifted. relief over and over again, and if that wasn't obvious. Um, although, I think in this particular instance, I would rather kill that guy than get any uh, HP healing stuff going on, and that's going to finish this fight. Awesome. Okay, I don't recall... This expedition at least promises success. Indeed it does. Uh, I don't recall off the top of my head what this uh, curio does. Let's just... We'll let people eat. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and clear out a full stack of food to grab those crests. Um, it is either a buff or stress release, relief, I don't remember which, um, either way, I think, uh, our man at arms could, oh, it was HP, oh, it was HP and stress, okay, great, so it was the stress relief, uh, I'm totally okay with the stress relief, that is actually what I wanted him to get, he was getting up there to like 58, that's a little bit high. I don't need... Oh man, two stress-inducing characters. Lovely. I don't need a repeat of my last dungeon excursion where everybody came back, like, selfish and insane. Uh, let us... Try for the rampart. Can you be stunned? 58? Hmm, it missed. That's not really what I wanted. Uh, maybe... Dissel Artillery. Let's try this. Pull her out of place. She'll throw a stressful incantation. She'll die to pretty much anything. A singular strike. And then he can do that. One more of those, and... Well struck. Oh, man. Awesome. And this uh, slavering ghoul here is going to be down for the count. Mm, that's not good. 11. Okay. It's not quite what I wanted, but we're getting there. 7 HP left. There's no reason we don't finish this guy in this turn. Uh, 2 to 5. 2 to 2. Let's try for this. See if it can get the stun. It does, which is awesome. Uh, everybody is looking like real good for HP, so I'm just gonna get the kill. And the crit for a little bit of stress relief, I'm totally okay with that. Oh man, 
I can't take 25 gold. Fine, fine. Do a little swapping around here, and then we did use our holy water. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh man, I have blighted. Ugh. We're fine, we'll just go ahead and do that. Clear out an inventory space anyway. All right. Ooh, a bone commander. Okay. Let us... I guess I could just artillery both of these guys. That's not too bad. Um... I'm thinking... The, uh... The Arbalists, now Bone Marksmen, have been extremely deadly in the past. They have a... I don't know if it's a crit chance exactly, like, what makes them so dangerous. Oh man, one HP. But they have not been my favorite person. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try this. I can mark him. He gains a huge protection buff. And then... Rampart. Did get the stun. He's now in first position, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Down to five. Got a kill there. Okay. And then... Um... What do I want to do here? Retribution, which will easily get a kill. Then he'll mark and have... So... We have two characters that are marked. One has a huge protection buff right now. The other one has a retribution uh, ability activated. So, yeah. Should just be able to do a little bit of work. We need like, I think one full turn of attacking him. Uh, I'm actually, well, 86 stress, why not? Go ahead and de-stress a little bit. The path is clear. Uh, but I'm thinking like, only the strength to follow it. man, a ground pound is pretty serious. Uh, full party with a stun chance, okay. Uh, but I think like a full turn of just being able to attack him, he should go down pretty easily. I can even do that to try to get another stun on him, which it did, which is awesome. Because it will mean I can de-stress here and then heal on him. Ah, three, three is not what I wanted. Fine, uh, we'll just go ahead. Well, I was thinking that would get the kill. We'll just go ahead and uh, finish him up though. A victory, perhaps the turning point. I wouldn't call it a turning point. As victories mount. <laughs> Don't call it a so turning point, I've been here for years. It doesn't, it doesn't really work, does it? Uh, okay, get another shovel, the citrine, and some jade. Awesome. Uh, we have no more keys. Uh, we'll let you do it. You're not stressed out at all. It's trapped. You resisted. Lovely. Mm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're gonna camp. Um... I'm a little bit worried about our stress, I'm not going to lie. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. I agree. I think the battle may yet be won. I don't think we're losing it by any means. Um, he has, like, no stress, so we don't need to worry about him. Uh, we could get an accuracy and a damage buff. Accuracy and a damage buff for six. All companions reduce stress by ten. All companions 20%. You know, I think the uh, all companions 20% stress. Self only 35% stress. So we're doing stress resists on all of them, which I think may prove more valuable than the uh, stress reduction for some of these guys. And a three, he could stress resist. I think we're going to go ahead and give instruction here to just make our Crusader an unstoppable killing machine, basically. Let them come. Yeah. yeah. Alright. No surprises. Awesome. 
And now um, this gives uh, Renault here, you know, does have the ability to do a little bit of de-stressing. Uh, we've basically made Savigny into an unstoppable killing machine, an unstoppable kleptomaniac killing machine, but a killing machine. Hey, the map's not too bad. The map's really not too bad. Okay, uh, that scout is handy. We don't know what's in this room. That might be... We've got to get all room battles, so if there's a fight down there, it's going to be our last fight. Did, did I not scout this? I do not remember knowing that there was going to be a fight here. But oh well. Um, let's go ahead and do a pull. On... Oh, he resisted the move. Never mind, we will not do a pull. Uh, we can... We can... If I can stun him, then I'm just going to leave him be. Okay. Nice. That's not to say that Reynald is incapable of dealing damage. Uh, he, you know, Smite does still get a bonus against Unholy. And this place is filled with plenty of Unholy enemies. So it's working out pretty well for him, too. Um, let's see if we can get the Wombo Combo of the move, the stun, and then the Holy Lance. Oh, man. That was sweet. All right. That is exactly why you would want to do this. A trifling victory. But a victory, trifling. nonetheless. Who are you calling trifling? i just pop that torch. The, light, the promise of safety. Yeah, that is the reason you should do that. The uh, rank 2 crusader, rank 3 man-at-arms. Um, and then it's just silly. That, uh, that those work together so well. And, you know, for all of the people that complained or have said that corpses have uh, increased the difficulty of the game, just remember, Holy Lance effectively got buffed by it because uh, characters no longer shift forward like they used to. Do I need these crests? I've already got 24. There's nothing I'd really want to drop for them. So I think I'm just going to let them be some overgrown Webbers. Our first uh, fight against not unholy. Um, there is literally nothing he can do. Like I'll just waste that and hope that I don't uh, accidentally cause bleed. That was kind of what I was expecting to have happened was that uh, I would use it and just Oh man, negatively impact my own character. Mm -mm. Well, we're getting stunned all over. But that is pretty much the end of the fight there. Uh, I guess you've taken two damage, might as well. And then uh, we just do that again. And. Spiders don't like being zealously accused of things, These it would seem. creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay. Uh, so then... We've got a trap to deal with. Uh, we'll let our occultist... Man, he got the disarm, too. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, cabinet, we do not have a key, but uh, thanks to one of my commenters, I know that I can use a shovel on those as well. Okay. Lights down a little. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Yeah, in case it stressed us. Oh no, he didn't get stressed. He gained a negative trait. Obsessed with killing. Ooh. It's not very holy warrior of you. Alright. It's the first time I've seen this lineup. Two Bone Marksmen and a Bone Commander. So the Abyssal Artillery is going to come in handy here. Ugh. Could have really used like a crit to make that damage in any way worthwhile. Uh, he dodged. That's unfortunate. Okay. Nice. We got one of them down before he was able to act. Ugh. Oh. That, though. Man, like a full party stun? That is insane, right? Like, I'm not... 
I I'm not exaggerating how uh, effective that could possibly be. Like, if you've lost your entire first turn, imagine some, like, horrible surprised and then Bone Commander just immediately lays into you with, like, a full party stun attack. That would not end well. All right, well, we got the two marksmen down without too much trouble. Um, let's go ahead and do the retribution. Uh, I'll leave both of my Crusaders up front. Nice, it paid off already. Uh, just so they can continuously attack here. 11 is not the most damage in the world, but it is something. Um, heal going on. And then repeat the same thing. Do another retribution. And then we'll just go to Smite Town on this guy. 17 HP left. Uh, not quite doing it. Alright, next turn, he's all ours. Yeah, that was a little bit. Uh, we'll just do another heal. You know, I'm actually pretty happy with the, uh, the stress resist buff. Um, I could see, like, if you were going to do an early camp, you know, like, uh, as soon as you start, you just throw out a campfire to, uh, to get buffs on everybody. The stress resistance would be huge. Um, because it really has turned around how much stress gain we're the getting here. The beast, the greater nice. the glory. All right, that was a pretty big beast. I did feel pretty glorified. Uh, we'll go with that arrangement. Do I want to get a holy water back? Change for an emerald? Oh, so much space that I need for things. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a snack break. I'm going to reclaim the holy water. I like the holy water. Uh, 500 gold. Is holy water worth 500 gold? I mean, no. Technically, it is not. Uh, I guess we'll do that then. Fine. Hey, quest complete. We're going to continue. Because I like adventuring. And uh, in this particular case, I think we've still got plenty of positive things to be gaining here. So let's go ahead and backtrack. Uh, we're going to run into a hallway fight that wasn't here before due to the backtracking. That's fine. It is just going to give us an opportunity to carry more loot. Uh, and then we will we'll throw down uh, Retribution. The miss was a little nasty, but that made up for it. Come on. Got a marked target right here for you. Just, nope, nope, didn't even care. Marked to the other guy though. Okay, uh, that was just on the nose to get a kill. And then, guess we just worry about our party's HP. Well, I'm gonna jinx myself right now, but uh, at least no bleeds. Like, uh, we haven't had any bleed come in in the entire dungeon uh, there's no longer like they, the change has been made to trinkets so that uh, you can only have one of each uh, which makes sense for some you know like the leper's mask that did something right like how much sense did it make that you could wear two of them uh, others not as much um, you know the cleansing crystal Specifically being uh, one of them where you are now only able to wear a single cleansing crystal. Whereas before, if you threw two of them on an occultist, he was basically guaranteed to never bleed you again. That's fine though. I, I think it's uh, it ensures that... If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. The clearly unintended uh, synergies uh, can't be abused. Um, you know, I'm actually going to grab one key instead of our medicinal herbs uh, for right now, since we're we're kind of getting out of the dungeon. Um, the things that keys might give us, uh, namely if we encounter any chests, the benefits of having a key. 
Stash heirlooms. Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to trade that out for bandages at this point. Yeah, that seems like a thing I would do. And then um, I actually should be ditching the torches as well. I don't know why I've even held on to them this long. Um, we'll let our light go down a little bit. There's no reason to buff it back up. We shouldn't be encountering any fights, and I believe it may influence the random number generator that decides our uh, loot off of curios. Can't confirm or deny, but uh, that would seem to make some degree of sense. Lowered our torchlight even further. Okay. And then final room. Any loots? Any loots? Any loots? No loots. Okay. Time to head back. That went pretty smooth. To rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. All right, uh, about thirteen thousand gold, and on our heirloom front, I think we did pretty well. Uh, obviously, crests by the truckload, but then I know we got other stuff. Okay, we got two portraits and nine busts as well. That's not too bad. I, I can deal with that. Uh, for our adventuring party. Robust for disease resist. Has replaced Eldritch Hater. Eh. And a tapeworm is causing him to consume more food. Deadly has replaced Manslayer. Against Slow Draw. Warren Scrounger has replaced Early Riser. And Hemophilia. Ugh. Okay. Uh, resolve XP on three of the four is basically just right there. So we're almost level four for several of our guys. That is quite caretaker. nice. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. Okay. Uh, while we were gone back in town, Dismas decided that he was having so much fun praying that he is hanging out in the Abbey for another week. Uh, Mandeville was the one we weren't able to de-stress because previously she had a love interest. So we sent her to the sanitarium to, I don't know, inject her with needles until she wasn't interested in love anymore. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what the logic is behind that. But uh, that is now going to be our main priority is getting her de-stressed. Um, we've got quite a few characters that could use just a little bit, maybe like some first level drinking or meditation uh, for some of these guys. And uh, while everybody else gets ready to uh, to go adventuring. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and I'll do uh, some of the uh, house cleaning related activities in between this video and the next. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe to see more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.